This time on Mike Noble Digging. The backcountry diggers go back to the King's Land, their second group hunt there ever. They hit a house site from the turn of the century. It's tough going at first, but they don't leave empty handed. Today we're heading back out to the King's Land. Uh, we hunted there one time before, you saw that video. And uh, today we're going back out there. It's going to be the second time we hunted this place as a uh, group. Now remember, this property is almost 400 acres. We may, who knows, we may never see every inch of it. Uh, it's a huge property. But today we're heading out to a location where there were two house sites. Uh, confirmed house sites. So I'm hoping that as a group we can pull some good stuff out of this property. I, I don't know how old these houses are. I'm hoping to find out from what we removed from the ground. But let's see what that is, okay? Here we go. Well, is this it? Clearing just on the other side of these trees here. I it's see a that. Telephone line that runs down through there, so it's easy walking between the two lines. So okay, so we're going to enter right here, yeah. down, right down a ditch, and back up. <laughs> yeah, we have two house sites here. This one's still standing, but you have to cross a creek to get to it. The guys are going through the woods to a bridge to get to it. But there might be an older one up here. It's a sim uh, the chimney's still standing. I think Tom and I are going to try to get to, so uh, let's uh, hope there's something up there. Tom just found a, the first find. Look at that. Maxwell. It does resemble a hook cap, doesn't it? It does. I wonder if they made uh, aftermarket parts back then. I don't know. That ain't good. That ain't good. <laughs> you don't see people dig those, so... I'll hold on to it just in case. I think so. They're coming back this way. That ain't a good sign, is it? No, okay, I guess the guys are coming back to, to join us, but... I'm standing in kind of a dump site here. It's just littered with cans and old jars, and but I saw something sticking up out of the ground. Beautiful man. It has no top. Oh, that was pretty. That's pretty, isn't it? Is it an inkwell? No, nah, I think that was a bud vase. That is beautiful. Yeah, if only it was all in one piece. That is a shame, man. It is. That looks old too. Very cool piece. I might set that on one of these stumps here and pick it up on the way out. We have a chimney here. Yeah, we have a chimney. So it's left of one anyhow. I am standing inside the house. Don't look like much, does it? Look at all the metal, all the iron and stuff we got to deal with here. Scattered all through here. But uh, it had bricks on the inside. It was rock on the outside. Of course, this whole thing is now a chimney pile. But uh, we're at a house. So let's uh, look around here. See what we can find with all the big pieces of iron stuck through here. Look at this. It's not going to be too easy. Tracy has something kind of cool from the house site here. Part that, of a... That wheel still turns. Does it really? Yep. Sure does, look at that. Part of an old clock. 
That's kind of cool, man. Bill found something kind of interesting. It's uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a lady's pen that has something in the middle there, but I don't see any place where a pen would have attached on the back. I don't know if it was. Uh, I don't know if it was something that was uh, put on something else for decoration. Can you say this thing was next to it? Yeah, almost in the same hole. Really? Feels like plastic. Yeah, it's weird. Weird, man. <coughs> well, we're finding weird stuff, anyhow. It's been slim pickings out here. There's a whole lot of iron in the ground from this old house. But uh, Gene ended up pulling some uh, interesting things out. My favorite is uh, the bezel to a pocket watch. I believe that's what that is. He found, uh, he said he thinks this is a handle from an old uh, ice box to keep the ice cold in it. So, I figure he's old enough to know. <laughs> I've seen him before. <laughs> he's seen him before. Never so that looks one. cool. I mean, that's something. I like that, I like that uh, pocket watch. Yeah. So, that was cool. Tracy says he's got some stuff too, so. I guess everybody's finding something but me, right? It's a little container. You can see the seam around it. Yeah, you can. Does it rattle? No, I didn't hear nothing. Got face, clock, clock might face. Have been an aspirin box. Yeah, I've seen those now. That could be an aspirin box. That's kind of cool. So is that? One of that's one of the glowing faces. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's an old buckle right there. A cool brass buckle. I like that, man. And the That's... tongue moves. Yeah, it really does. I, I like that. Yeah, we're trying to open this uh, Nothing box up. Let's see if there's anything in it. Empty. It is empty. No it? That looks like it might have been old Bayer aspirin box. So. It could be. I just found something interesting. At first I thought it was a part of a pocket watch. Or not pocket watch, but a wrist watch. I'm not so sure. I thought I'd get some video before I actually do a little cleaning on it. But it looks like it was used, or the, it used a strap at one point. I don't know what's inside there. I'm gonna get a brush. See if I can pull some of that dirt out and see if uh, I can get some information on it. In with the hole, or in the hole with that thing I just found, it's uh, this piece of plate. Uh, it doesn't look all that great, but this is cleaned up. And uh, I'm still left with questions. I, I have no idea what this could be. I have no idea. But it looks like it's very interesting, and it looks like it could be something good. So I'm definitely hanging on to it. And you guys, uh, you, you gotta tell me if you know what this is. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm interested. We got Chad out here. What's up, guys? He uh, came out a little, a little after we did. He thought he'd get on it, and he's doing pretty good for himself. He got a redhead button there, but this one. It's an overall button, but it's got a train on it. Hope you can see that. That is a very cool button. Very pronounced train. Once it gets it cleaned off, that should show up really well. So I like that, man. Thank you, man. Nice job. Bill has a few things. He got himself a interesting little buckle. Had a iron tongue at one point. And he got himself a piece of uh, carnival glass. I believe that's what that is. Don't know what it would have looked like all together, but that's interesting. And whoop, oh, it's stuck. <laughs> and uh, part of a compact. Interesting. 
Nice. I haven't really found too awful much, but this out here. It's nice out here. There's Tom. He was uh, circling way out around, I guess. Something like that. He's found some kind of interesting pieces here. They're all brass. Whoop. Like a snap button. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Huh. Piece of a clock frame, maybe. Yeah, it probably is, yeah. Found that out here in the woods? Yeah, your usual house. Yeah. House type gooder. <laughs> you see my one buckle? Yes. And now he has another one. And the tongue works. Does it really? I'd be careful with that one though because that one's iron. Iron, yeah. That one's, that one's cool. It's a belt buckle. I think they both were. I think the other one was. I don't know. Uh, yep, there it is. I found one like this before, but the tongue was gone. I think I remember that one. I see it looks like you got a Pond's jar in there. That's a Jergens. A Jergens? That Jergens. Nice uh, piece of, uh, what do they call it, milk glass? Yeah. And I guess there's more. He found himself a button, he said. Yeah, that's, that's a two-hold button. I don't know. That, that may be a underwear button it's got an odd shape for one of those underwear buttons it might still be one I don't know about the size you know, Tom said he has something kind of kind of interesting you got to turn around we can read it there you go oh uh, old hickory old hickory that's an overall button and you can actually read it that's kind of cool. Yeah, we ain't never found one like that before. It's that old hickory. We yeah. All kinds. That old house site is just right up in there. And it's just so full of roofing tin. Did you see that? It's just so full of roofing tin. It's just hard to zero in on too much of anything. Tracy was uh, swinging right there. He's getting a 13, about three inches deep. I guess it was going to be a shock and head stamp. Well, he dug it. I was wrong. It looks like it is part of a two-piece button. There's nothing on it. I don't know if that would have been an upholstery button. I don't know if that would have been on clothing, but it looks like it's a part of a button. So, there you go. Kind of cool. I was walking through here. They At one point, they had bulldozed all this, and they got all these piles built up, and got all kinds of iron signals and a few things chirp out nothing really amounts to much it's kind of a garbage pit really there's a, some a glass jar there a glass jar there a lot of cans all over the place but I was walking through and against this tree was this old uh, license plate yeah I don't know if you can make that out it's a 53 South Carolina E3-5 That may be a 1-5 So You're filling that box up, aren't you? Yeah I did find the other pieces of that glass in my pouch I went and dumped it Alright, some Maybe. more of that carnival glass On that, I don't know what that is and A musket ball or a pistol ball Alright you get yourself another buckle. Chet, catch you later, buddy. All right, you too. Bill's kicking a lot of this stuff around, kind of with some old jars and, and cans and stuff. He just found the top half of this uh, little vase I found earlier. I mean, it's still not complete. But uh, that looks a lot different than I assumed it would have. Interesting, man. 
I just found something kind of interesting. Um, and it's about time. <laughs> uh, I think I found a little bit of a pocket watch myself. So uh, check this out. Right there. See that? Yeah, that's uh. You dug a button? Yeah. Bill just got a button. Apparently I got me a pocket watch. I like that. Very cool. Let's uh, go over here and check out Bill's button. Yeah, you did. Looks like it's got something on it. I'll but trade you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you got more of yours than Gene got. It. Yeah, I did get a little bit more in mine. There may be something on that. I don't know if you saw uh, Chet's button. That's the back. But he actually found a, uh, a train. A button with a train on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was cool. These overall buttons are coming up all over the place, though. So. What do you got? Hoodoo. You got hoodoo? might be I don't know here I'll let you have that back but then I'll show you that mm. it's similar to yours yep I think that's gonna be our day it is raining I think we're gonna call I think I think some of the guys already had got back to their vehicles already um, that's gonna be the hunt hope you enjoyed it hey Gene yeah. All right, Gene. Yeah, Gene's rides uh, come to pick him up. Bill and I have a little bit of a walk here. Bill's got a head start. All right, we'll catch you guys later. No, I'm good. All right, Bill. Catch you later, buddy. Well, guys, that's it. That's our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, air started getting really cold and we knew that rain was going to come. We, we knew it was going to rain anyhow. We uh, actually tried to get out there earlier so we can get some more time. Uh, to those house sites. Uh, now, this land, the King's Land, has been in the family since the 1700s. It's looking like that house with the chimney stack, where we hunted mostly, was there maybe from the 20s or teens all the way on up to 1950s maybe the other house that was still standing uh guys the guys i never saw it i never got down to it uh but the guys uh, kind of gave up on it they said it looked like it was moved there not too long ago and uh, there really wasn't much coming out there and tom told me that it was moved there at one point so we probably won't be going to that house but we do know a little bit more about this property, you know, the houses that's in there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed watching us pull out those uh, buckles and overall buttons and pocket watch parts from the 1900s. <laughs> we did enjoy it though. Until next time, guys, we will catch you later. Bye.